And hello, and welcome to Criterion Connection. I'm Wade. And I'm Joe. And we're back. Uh, last week we had a little uh, misfortune. We had to do a solo Criterion Connection episode, and it was uh, it was awful. Um, sorry. Um, but we're here to do this. News to me, man. Because <laughs> Joe's not here. He's he's the real star of the show. And uh, today we're doing uh, a little movie called Lady Snowblood from 1973. True. It's like a revenge samurai movie. Half true. Probably Quentin Tarantino's favorite movie of all time. You can tell if you watch Kill Bill, Volume One and Two. True. Yes. You said it. You said a nice anecdote about Kill Bill, Kill Bill Three that Uma Thurman just kills Quentin Tarantino. I like that one. I uh, mean, if Quentin needs help writing that script. Yeah. <laughs> all you uh, gotta do is call. And there's no Chunking Express. I'm oh, sorry, Chunking Express. There's no. Um, and there's no Lady Snowblood 2. Well, there is. There is. There is. But there I don't is. know if he's going to fall for that one, too. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing Lady Snowblood. Um, the version we're talking about is... Uh, version online is pretty much the one that's um, in the box. It's in the, the new release that has uh, Song of Blood Vengeance in it. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to talk about the first one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's basically a revenge movie. Spoiler. Yeah. It's a 70s revenge movie. It's yeah. it's like super I don't know. It it reminded me of a lot of other like western fil films. Yeah. Um like like I got Death Wish vibes. Um and and I don't know. I got like you know, it, it's it's I think it's a lot easy like more accessible to to a lot of you know, uninitiated, like, Western audiences. It has one of my favorite things where the blood is overly red. I love that. Oh, the stage blood? I love that. They do it in Giallo films. They do it in all kinds of things. Those are my favorite things, especially when it's spurred out. It's always fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Quentin Tarantino loves that, too. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. We're going to talk about him a lot. Yeah, like, there's shots <laughs> in there that, obviously, it's Quentin Tarantino. Either, you can consider them homages or rip-offs. Like, where the, the criminals are looking down mm -hmm. upon, like, the camera, and he does not a Kill Bill. Mm -hmm. The snow scene is Kill Bill, and this one, um, the ending is Kill Bill, well, a supposed Kill Bill plot line. Yeah, yeah. but aside from that, yeah. let's just talk about Lady Snowblood. Yeah, Lady Snowblood. Where it's, it's about a young woman who... Uh, is raised uh, without her mother, does not know who her father is, and has taken on this vendetta against these four particular criminals yes. that wronged her mother. Uh, and her father. In, in, in a severe way. Yeah. Um, and, and you just follow her on that journey. I, I think the first... Um, it was the where she runs into the gang. Yeah. The random gang that I don't remember being on her list. It was, she, she just kind of runs across them and was like, you know what? You guys are some not cool fellows, so I'm just going to take gonna, care of this I'm right now. murder you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, it deals with... Well, it more, more chases three. The fourth one was killed, like, pretty... Quickly in the well, the mother did it. Yeah, the mother did the it. The mother, so. the mother got revenge on one of them. Yeah. Um, so you have kind of like a three act story here. You have one criminal and another one and another one. That's how they separate this movie. And it's a nice little structure they do on it. Yeah. And they all had. They're all different. Um, you know, the one with the the reporter. It's actually the reporter knows one well, of them in some sort of fashion. I'm not gonna say how, I, but. I really felt that guy was an ancillary character. I was I did not think he was needed for yeah. this film. Although I do have a theory. I wonder if he is the brother. Mm. Uh, from the beginning. I wonder if that's true. That's a good theory. I yeah. don't know. I'm not really sure. Yeah. I'd like to look that one up. I didn't get a chance to. Yeah. But I think that would be really interesting. Other than that, uh, if he wasn't, I really did not see the reason he was here. Because, alright, so lay this out. She is on this, like, journey. I'm gonna slice up all the people that wronged my family. 
do do do. I'm trucking along. <laughs> this is actually how it is. Do do do. Yeah, she finds the one guy, um, saves his life, and then takes his life. Yeah. Um, and then she meets this reporter guy when she tracks down. I believe his name is Ashio. Yeah, Ashio is is part of his name is uh, Ryu Rie or something like that. Yeah. I can't. I don't know his first name, but uh, Ashio is 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 one of them. He's kind of an annoying character. But she finds the tombstone for one of these criminals that wronged her family, and she's super upset. She doesn't get to kill him herself, and she cuts the flowers and then leaves, and he sees her. And he's apparently doing this story following her exploits as this revenge artist, I guess. Yeah. He wants to write, like, a is it a book or a news story? I forget. It's something. Because he's like, I write novels for fun. I'm like, all right, dude. Fun nerd. Nerd, <laughs> nerd alert. Um, Yuki, watch out. And so she moves on to somebody else and, like... And then he the, gets in the way. The, the problem for me is... He, I don't think he's that important of a character, even though they give him, like, he has the information on a couple of these people, uh, on where to find them, who they are in, in the society. There's, there's been too much of an important character. Well, it, it's not that, it's just, I think you could have given this, like, the things that make him important, um, could have been anybody. Yeah. Like, somebody else she could have run into. Yeah. So I'm, you know, I just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but this story's not really about him. He gets in his way. He is kind of a just annoying character. He's not really a likable character. I as mean, much. given how things go, like him being a damsel in distress, like it's a nice role reversal. Yeah. Um, which is refreshing, where the the female is the strong character. And the one that has to save him. Yeah. But so. she could still be a, st a strong character without him. Oh, uh, yeah. She, was, she yeah. was badass for the first hour. Oh, right? yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was badass. Uh, some cool fight scene. A lot of good cinematography there with, like, you know, the 180 shots you get with her when she's surrounded. Uh, there's even sometimes you see handheld camera, which is interesting. I love, um, I love the motif of the snow. Yes. Um, because it, from my recollection, it only shows up twice. And they're two very significant parts of her life. And that's how she gets her name. Yeah. Um, and, it, and I think that's a really cool kind of um, yeah recurring element. I mean, and it's a good... Because uh, <clears throat> after doing some research, this was during a period... Uh, the period this is, takes place is when Japanese society is kind of evolving. You see it near the end where it's mm -hmm. like there's that ball, that ballroom party. Isn't it like <clears> kind of? <throat> I'm not really familiar. I think it's called, think it's called the Maiju era. Meiju. Well, era. I saw. I I could have sworn the subtitle said Meiji. Meiji. That's it. Meiji. Um, but I'm not too familiar with like the eras of Japan, like Japanese yeah. history. But the way it seemed is it was a time where there's kind of leaving that feudal isolationist structure into a more worldly, like, having more Western influences, dealing with Europeans and Americans. And you described this as it's kind of like a Western. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah. um, also, this is also based on a manga. That's really cool. Did yeah. not know that. Yeah. That's and, really cool. And there's some cool shots they do, like it's just still shots, like a kind of like a, like a montage of still shots of like mm -hmm. kind of like it's a flashback. It's all still shots. So it's kind of like a comic book. Yeah, that was really cool when yeah. they did the flashbacks. Yeah. Um, this reminded me a lot of like you have the Death Wish part where it's just kind of this power fantasy, like revenge. Yeah. And then the other part of it reminds me of the Vengeance trilogy that um, Chan Wook Park did. Yeah, like... Um, uh, Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. Okay, let's see one. Let's see one. Old Boy. Old Boy, yeah. And Lady Vengeance. So, Joe, buy rent or skip? I'm going to say rent. I think it's a solid rent. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I mean, it's... I mean, I, I think there's... It's better than Kill Bill. Okay? But it. I've seen the same kind of movies before. So it kind of takes the sting out of it for me. So I think it's 
fun watch like once. I, I wouldn't buy it though. But I'll say buy it. Sure. I'll say buy because I like it. I think you should buy you? it too. It's it's a, it's a it's it's I think it's a movie that anyone can watch. True. And have fun with it and be like, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure about is. the uh, the four or five year old range, but you know. Well. You know, people's there, arms there, get cut there, off. I mean, there is a baby in the movie, so they can be like, I relate to that. I don't know about that. No, anyway, so, but anyway, Yuki's a really strong character. She's a cool, strong female samurai that cuts motherfuckers up. Yeah, yeah. That does we happen. We don't cuss much on this show, but she cuts motherfuckers up. That's the only way I can sum this movie up, right? True. So let us know in the comment section below. Do you think the reporter in this movie is the greatest character of all time? Unlike what we think. Let us know in the comment section Probably below. Probably like some super like Hollywood like Rock Hudson statured character actor from Japan or something. And, we just uh, shit on him. We just shit all over <laughs> him. Uh, let us know in the comment section. Subscribe. Hit that bell so you get everything we do on this channel. Yeah. Everything. So until next time. I'm Wade. And I'm Joe. And we will see you later. Thank you for watching.